A Lakeland utility worker finally home tonight, but too shaken to talk about a vicious dog attack. The worker attacked while working on an electrical meter today. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith live at the sheriff's office where he has learned this is not the first person this dog has attacked. Ryan? Wendy Polk investigators here telling us tonight that they've responded to multiple complaints about this very pit bull, and they say tonight shooting this dog down was their only option. There could have been another way than to kill my 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 children's dog, you know, like Alex Hill returning home from work to find a crime scene. A Polk County deputy shot her dog after attacking two people. Sophia, a three year old rose nosed pit bull. It's an amazing dog. She's protective of her family and her domain, and I feel like she was doing what she feel, felt was right. Deputies say Sophia mauled a Lakeland electric employee while trying to service a meter. Linda Dion was rushed to a hospital with severe cuts on her arms and legs. Animal Control declared the dog dangerous. I'm about to rip out my sister's <laughs> After this 911 call last June. She will take out her gun and shoot the dog. I told Polk County back in June this was going to happen again. Pat Jeffries made that frantic call for help working outside more than a mile from the dog's home. When they have been deemed dangerous already by the county and they're not taking the precautions, mm -hmm. then they're not good parents for their dogs. The dog's owner, Matthew Overton, has to answer for today's attack. Deputies arrested him for not keeping Sophia chained or locked inside. And that first responding deputy we learned today also shot at another dog on the property for showing extremely aggressive behavior. That dog, an American bully, is now in the custody of animal control. Live in Lakeland, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.